Let's check in with A's reliever Lou Trevino from the East Coast. Lou, I appreciate the time. Uh, first off, if you could just give everybody the update, where exactly you are, what you've been up to, and how you're doing through all this. Uh, well, I I was originally going to stay in Arizona throughout this whole thing because I didn't think it was going to last this long, but I was very thankful I decided to go back home. And now I'm back in uh, a little north of Philadelphia, or not a little north, about an hour north of Philly. Um so uh, I've been doing pretty good. I uh, got to spend some time with family, friends. It's been nice seeing my uh, uh, my sisters, my sisters' li- little girl grow up. Uh, you know, f- for me, it's it, it was I was a little disappointed because it was going to be I'll I'll see her in in in, in four and five months month I- increments. So right. it's nice that I'm able to see her uh, a decent amount of time, and and she's just the most adorable little girl you've ever seen in your life. But, uh, but no, it's, 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 it's been going good so far as, you know, as, as it can go. I was going to say, aside from sports and missing your routine and missing what you love to do for a living, what's been the hardest part of all this on a personal level? I mean, for me, that's, that's it right there. You know, I, I think it's, it's very, it's very different being here back home in the spring. Um, usually I'm not, Right. I'm not here. I'm I'm playing baseball. I don't know, it's just, it's just, it, it's very, very different. You know, um, I, I miss, I miss the competitive aspect. I miss the guys. Uh, and I, I know it might be a little weird, but like, that's, that's, that's my life. You know, I've baseball, you know, sports, that's kind of what I do. So it's just, it's just, a, it, it's, it's just odd. You know, it's just, it's a, it's a weird, it's a weird feeling almost, you know? I, I mean, it's it's weird for everybody, right? No matter what you do, it's yeah. probably not any anywhere close to the same right now as normal life, uh, let's call it. So um, what have you been doing in terms of baseball? I imagine you're on some sort of a throwing program. Most most pitchers have seemed to find a nice routine, despite the fact that it's not normal. Yeah, uh, I, I'm pretty much um, – I actually just threw two hours ago. So, uh, uh, But, yeah, I, every, every Friday I throw a bullpen. And uh, I'm I'm fortunate enough to have a a baseball academy that's pretty close uh, that they let me um, lift in, so I can continue to maintain arm arm strength and health, uh, especially you know um, body strength as well. But um, yeah, that's kind of what my <clears throat> excuse me uh, that's that's what my uh, routine's been. Just every Friday I throw a bullpen, and then I'll throw three days a week outside of that, you know, just trying to maintain. And if, uh, and if we're good to go at any point in time, I feel like I'm ready to go. Do you ever get any spectators out there? Uh, people who are like, Oh, there's a, there's a big league, big league pitcher out here, uh, throwing some bullpen sessions. Let's go see what this is like. Or, or are your sessions pretty secluded? They're very secluded. I'm throwing to a backdrop. No one's there. You know, it's kind of one of those things where no one, no one's anywhere right now. And I'm the only right. one with access to it. So it's Got kind it. of one of those things where, yeah, uh, the the catcher hasn't dropped the ball yet because you know I'm throwing to a backstop. So, so does that make it pretty lonely? I mean, here I am in a home studio, like in a small room. Like I feel lonely sometimes doing my work. It's just so abnormal. Normally, you're around a bunch of guys, coaches. You know, there's that energy. Do you feel lonely sometimes? Uh, yes, but I mean, at the same time, it's 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 my job, and I it's something I really enjoy doing. And sometimes it's nice to be by yourself to really focus in mm-hmm. on different things and not be distracted. Uh, I'm I'm I mean, if you if you talk to a lot of guys that know me, I mean, I get I get a lot of crap for doing dry work constantly, all all by myself. You know, it's just it's kind of something I'm used to, so it's not it's not a big deal totally. But it is very different seeing <clears throat> the baseball academy that I work out in the off season, which is always packed. There's mm-hmm. just no one there. It, 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 that is different, but you know, it, that's, that's kind of the world we live in right now. I know so many ball players right now are excited at the prospect of, of at least what's on the table of getting baseball going again, and even getting potentially a half season in, um, that does seem significant. I think the half season mark is maybe where a lot of people draw it as worth it or not. Um, what are just your thoughts on getting closer to something realistically happening i mean i think it's a good thing for the country as a whole i mean i mean how how many people are starved for sports i i don't play any sports video games and i've been playing madden and then will be the show and i don't <laughs> ever play this just because i'm starved for sports right you know like I, I i tune in and watch U, ufc you know i don't really watch ufc that much but i'm starved for sports I'm, I'm i'm sure a lot of people are like that so 
from that perspective, mm-hmm. I think it'd be a, a nice little morale booster for, for the country as a whole. Um, but I, I know me personally, I, I would love to play, but at, at the same time, I know I've, I've talked to a lot of people. It has to make sense. You yeah. know, we can't just, we can't just open everything up and, and, and kind of go w- willy nilly. And you just, you know, people have to come up with, with good, good plans. And, and, and like I said, it has to make sense. Yeah. And everybody's got to feel right about it for, for yeah. obvious reasons, it goes beyond baseball of why this has to be done the right way. Um, in terms sure. of strategy with baseball, uh, and no matter how this happens, it seems like rosters are going to have to be expanded to a certain amount. <clears throat> I don't know what that number is. You probably don't either. And there may be some restrictions on how many pitchers each team can carry, but it does seem like more players available uh, means more managerial you know, chess matches, which probably means that bullpens... If baseball can come back, bullpens will be even more magnified in terms of importance. Yeah, for sure. And it's going to be interesting, especially now that if they're going to maintain the rule where you can only, you have to face three batters, right. you know, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming, you know, managers would have loved to have this expanded roster with no, um, with no limit and on the batters they can face. So right. I think it's going to be interesting to find to, to figure out, uh, how it, it, you know, again, hopefully we do play, but it's, it's going to be interesting to figure out how the bullpen's being used, especially with starters not quite being stretched out. It's going to be interesting to see how, uh, how, how much they can stretch out with the timetable that we have moving forward. And, and I know, you know, there's a lot of starters still throwing, but you know, not throwing games or really not have that adrenaline. So I don't know. It's, I think it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun to watch, especially, uh, especially the bullpen wise, you know, yeah. obviously seeing, seeing as I'm a bullpen guy, yeah. but it's going to, it's going to be interesting to, to see how certain managers use the bullpen and, and stuff. Well, and the other question is, you know, are, are good teams still good teams regardless of a half season and kind of the sprint pace and maybe some of the, the changed rules and strategies? Um, or is it just a matter of what teams and what individuals can adapt best? I feel like adaptability to a to a 2020 MLB season is probably one of the biggest requirements, one of the biggest ways you could have success. Yeah, I think it's going to be almost more like an NFL season, uh, and maybe that's a bad example, but I get what you're saying. Where yeah, where every game matters. You know, you can't yeah. you can't have a, a a bad month and say it's all right. It's just the beginning of the season. Like it's slumps magnify. You know, what whether it's team slumps or individual slumps. Uh, that it's 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 more of a, a magnified sense so you gotta as a as a team and e- even individually you got to come out hot and you got to stay hot uh so it's you know some teams are really good down the stretch well maybe there's no down the stretch you know that's the whole yeah. that's the whole season right right there so yeah well it's just it's just going to be interesting because you know baseball is really not meant to be played like that baseball is meant to grind out and see who the team is over a long period of time so and you know there's teams that can catch fire that maybe maybe can't maintain o- over a whole entire season, mm-hmm. and 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 they don't have to. So I think it, it could be a really really fun season to to watch. I have this thought: the Oakland A's are always a, a second half great team. Let's just start in the second half. That's kind of what we're doing here, right? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I mean, it's already second half. It's going to be July when we start. So yep. Um, you know, you think about meetings with. With pitchers and catchers and uh, the pitching staff or, or any type of baseball uh, group meeting, and they're saying that, hey, you can have these, but you either have to be way apart or just do it virtually. Let's just go down the virtual route. Is that is that something that um, you know a lot of businesses right now across the country are going to Zoom meetings and stuff like that? Is that something realistically that could work for a baseball team, and and you could be fine with that? Maybe <laughs> you'll find I, out to me. That sounds, that just seems odd. You're going to, you're going to be in the same spot right. and then you're going to hold, hold, right. you know, virtual me. I, I don't know. I, I think it, I think it all depends. You know, if, if, if we get tested yeah. a ton, well, then there's no need. Right. right Cause right. everyone presumably doesn't have it. Right. Uh, so I, I don't know. I, it, it, you know, that, that being said, I'm, I'm not the one that, uh, that makes these decisions. And, uh, but, I mean, it would be very odd to be in a Zoom meeting going o- over hitters. I-, I know, I know that'd be very odd. So, uh, I guess we'll see what happens. But it kind of sounds like you're willing to do it if that's what it takes. But it's just you can't fathom it right now, right? Is that kind of it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, of course. I mean, 
I, I mean, I, I think I, you know, I think I'd be willing, but at the same time, like, all right, come on guys. Right. You know, like, like this is a bit, little, a little bit ridiculous, but again, may, maybe it's not, I don't know. Right. It's just, it just doesn't, I, I just, I can't see that, you know, it just seems weird to me. But again, this whole entire thing seems weird. Right. You know, if you would have told me I wasn't playing baseball or no one was playing baseball, right. You know, and the whole entire country was shut down. That that's weird. So you know, there's there's obviously some some adjustments that that are going to need to be made. But I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Sean Murphy's literally sitting twenty feet to your left, but you're talking to him on your phone <laughs> via yeah, the Zoom. The Zoom yeah, exactly. Meeting. Interesting how that could work. Yeah, um, crazy. I, I want to switch gears a little bit. Everybody's talking about Major League Baseball. That's the focus. That's the uh, the driver of the economy. That's that's what's going to help mm-hmm. people's lives get back on track. But I'm just curious how guys like yourself. Um, see it from the minor league baseball perspective, not so much the business side of it, but how about all the minor league players who are essentially going to have to miss a season? Do you think that affects their careers one way or another? Can they make something good out of that or is it all bad? I don't, that is going to be the most, I mean, I, I'm, I'm very thankful where I'm at and in right. this point in my life, I, I, I do feel for, for the players that, Hey, the, the guys that are, that are they're supposed to get drafted. Now right. there's only what f- five rounds, you know, um, I, you feel bad for those guys, especially the guys that need the development that need the reps. Uh, I, I know I, I wasn't, I wasn't polished out of the draft, man. I was almost, almost released out of the draft or, you know, out, um, when I was in the minor leagues. Mm-hmm. So I, I needed that time to get better, to develop. So that really kind of screws over a lot of guys there. And, uh, and, and, yeah, it's just I, I feel for those guys. I, I don't know how it's all going to work out. You know, I'm, I'm hoping that you know if, if if we do this, there's at least some minor leagues. But I don't know. It's just I'm not, I'm not saying it's all bad. Some guys, man, this could be really good for some guys right. because maybe they, they were nursing a sore arm. Maybe right. you know there, there's a lot of different variables out there. So you know, it, it, it's not all bad. Right. But at the same time, it's generally it might be all you know not not very good. So. You know, you, you do feel for, for those guys that that are the fringe guys that might not get the chance now that there's only five rounds. You know, you're not going to see the eleventh round guy like myself may, maybe make it. You're not going to see the late round guys get that chance potentially, and and that's to me that that's heartbreaking because you know I'm I'm that guy. You yeah. know, I hear you on that, and it's it's also going to make the <clears throat> the next couple years of Major League Baseball maybe more difficult because you don't have a season of these players developing to go on. You don't necessarily know who they are today versus who they were 18 months ago and the stats, the last stats you have on them. It kind of, it kind of makes it very cloudy um, just in terms of like you're saying, who gets the chances and, and who can, who can better themselves during these times. Yeah, exactly. And, and then, you know, you, you're talking about, about from a, from, from an organizational standpoint, maybe you got a guy that you know, really hasn't, it, it's, it's harder to do stuff, you know, like, I'm, I'm very blessed to have, have a gym really close to me that I can mm-hmm. go and work out. And well, some of these minor league guys, you know, they, they've been stuck inside all day, you know, they haven't really been able to do stuff. So, and, and maybe that really uh, hinders their ability to perform on the field next year, you know? So, right. you know, from a, from an organizational standpoint, you know, you're high on, on a guy that from one reason or another, you know, hasn't maybe not pan out. So there's just, right. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm going through all these scenarios and maybe, maybe that's not, you know, maybe that's not fair for me or anything like that. But at the same, I, I just, I, it's, it's, it's unfortunate, especially, you know, for, for the minor leaguers that, uh, that won't have the reps that they used to, or usually have to develop and to potentially move on. No, I, I think you're doing a great job. You're, you're uncovering something that, um, people aren't able maybe to think about on a deep level right now. But over time, what you're saying is is going to become just so much more apparent. Um, real quick, your your workouts. We were talking before the recording started here about at least dumbbells. Um, what what mm-hmm. kind of what kind of uh, what's your favorite arm exercise to do? Well, biceps, of course. <laughs> yeah, a lot of curls. <laughs> That's all you got to do. You know, you try to get as tight as possible if you're not. I'm just joking. Not for a pitcher. <laughs> Come on, uh, you I don't know, want I that, do you? Right? Messing. You don't want no, that. No, 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 yeah. no. No, I always. I always joke you got to be really tight just just to be sarcastic but um uh no I I mean look honestly I, I end up all I I end every exercise every upper body day with biceps maybe mm-hmm. maybe not the best thing for me but I mean you know you got to you got to at least have something there you know <laughs> You know what you're doing by now there there's no questioning that I'm just I was just curious if uh 
if, yeah, if you had a favorite one. There's definitely, well, pretty much any exercise I don't like to do, but uh, I will ride the Peloton. Well, look, lower half, lower lower body, although it is very beneficial, is never fun. I don't ever wake up in the morning, ah, yeah, I, I, got, I got a lower body today. And that's never fun. <laughs> At least for me, it is. It sucks. <laughs> Last but thing you for do what you got to do. Last thing for you here, Lou, and I really appreciate the time. Um, let's let's put let's put together a mental picture for you, and then I want you to tell me how you feel about this. Uh, it's your first day back at the stadium. You get to put a jersey on again. You get to step on a big league mound again. Um, just kind of tell me the anticipated thoughts of of how you'll feel when that when that actually is the case again. It'll be beyond exciting, but all right, it's mm-hmm. gonna be it's gonna be interesting in a big moment of the game. All right. Someone's down. Someone's down by a run. Big home run walk off. Crowd goes silent because there's no one cheering <laughs> except for a couple guys. It's like you're playing little league, little league travel ball all over again. And I know that's probably not what you wanted me to say, but that's all I can picture. These big, big, you know, huge moments that yep. change the game. And it's just crickets. Yep. You know, yep. that, that would to me, that would be the most interesting part to see how people react and you know there's guys that there's guys that pitch and play on pure uh, adrenaline Mm -hmm. well it's going to be harder to have that that adrenaline so i don't know we'll see we'll see how it plays out we're going to hear pretty much anything if our microphones work properly we're going to be able to hear right into your dugout so maybe watch what you say but also if you're one of the loud guys you know after a homer you're celebrating uh, we're gonna know who's really into the game, if you know what I mean. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, that is very that is very true. <laughs> All right, Lou, I really appreciate this. Thanks again. Be well, be safe, be sane, and um, yeah, I, I do hope it's a matter of weeks and maybe months if yeah. we need to uh, till we see you coming into a, a real game uh, for for the real thing. So, uh, thanks again, yeah, Lou. We're willing. All right, have a good one.